What's up, you guys? My name is Mary. I'm with High Priestess Intuition. Uh, welcome, my current subscribers, and welcome, 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 newbies. If you guys are new to my channel and you enjoy my content, you can smash this up and then you notify for future readings. It's free general collective reading for all signs. Have suicide and everybody in between. Don't forget the basics. Time is fluid. Energy is fluid. If it does that apply, that apply. Everyone has free will. Only take the messages, resonate, leave rest. Free general collective reading for all signs. Uh, I meant for sign of Sag. Love and appreciate each and every one of you guys. Where um, the sub count is going to remain private, but I think uh, YouTube wide, they um, everybody's sub count is going to um, become public. I think it's either on the 27th or the 29th. So I'll keep it private until YouTube makes it public. It's either on the 27th or the 29th is when everybody's sub count goes public. So. I'll just keep it private until then, just saying. But I love you guys so much from the bottom of my heart chakra. If you'd like to donate, it's High Priestess to Rofa. The link's in the description box below. This is for the sign of Sag. This can resonate if you have Sag in any aspects of your chart. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Ortho, Moon, Hammer, Jupiter, Charge. Stuff with the basics. Time is fluid. Energy is fluid. If it doesn't apply, let it fly. Everyone has free will. Only take the messages that resonate. Leave the rest. Free general collective reading for sign of Sag. Okay. We have Elk. Rabbit. If everybody could keep me in your thoughts and prayers and well wishes, I have a child custody battle tentatively on 725 in 2022 uh, with my ex-husband. It's not the first rodeo with him in child custody hearings. Just let everybody know. It's more like at least number five, if not six or seven. Um, so if everybody could just keep me in your thoughts and prayers and well wishes, I'd very much appreciate it. Um, just to give you a little backstory while I'm shuffling out, um, the first couple times he took me for child support adjustments, back when I became an RN, started working in 14, I've, I've been licensed as an RN since 13, been working since 14 as an RN. He took me the first couple times for child support adjustments. His wife, at the, his current legally married wife at the time, she was not an RN at the time. And, um, and I understood those because she wasn't, I mean, not that her income matters with um, me and him, but I understood that. So it, it was what it was. But then after that, things started getting crazy. Um, for example, two years ago, he accused me of child abuse and had my older sister come go in and testify against me. Um, that was two years ago. And then um, six years ago, I had a boyfriend and he was very, very, very upset about that. Very upset. And um, he um, he basically manipulated my daughter, bought her a phone. She was about 10 at the time, bought her a phone and had manipulated her to walk around my rented home at the time. I have a, not this house, I've been, I own this house. I've been paying mortgage on it for five years, but my other house that I rented for um from a landlord in the country six years ago he um had her walk around with the phone he had bought her and manipulated her to take photos of a drawer that um i made for my boyfriend at the time to put his belongings in when he would come over and visit um because he lived 45 minutes away in a town away 45 minutes away and he um had her take photos of his toothbrush and toothpaste and razor as evidence that I was contempt of court because he was strict that I needed to follow the papers. I needed to follow the papers. I needed to follow the papers. And he was swearing up and down this man was living with me and that I was contempt of court and I was breaking the papers. So that's just a little back history of what I've had to deal with with this man. Um, years after years after years after years of dealing with him. It's exhausting. It's exhausting, and um, honestly, I wish I would have never married him, and I'm serious about that. Of course, we've been divorced a long time, but I wouldn't trade my kids, and that's just the truth. I wouldn't trade them for the world. Um, but anyway, tentatively, another hearing on 725 of 2022, tentatively. So the court date may happen on the 25th and may not. But if everybody could just keep me in your thoughts, prayers, and well wishes, I'd very much appreciate it because there's a lot of history with this man, a lot. And um, those are previous court situations. But it's like he has nothing better to do than take me to the court of law. And that's just the truth. 
and it's sad. I mean, I, I'm a single mom. I'm a single mom. I've been a single woman for a long time. All these court situations he took me to, I have been single. Just me. No, like, except for the one time I had a boyfriend. And that boyfriend didn't support me financially. Like, I still supported myself. Lived in my rented house with my kids. So, I don't know what his deal is and what his problem is. But um, I wish he'd just leave me and my kids alone. And that's just the truth. But if everybody could just keep in your thoughts, prayers, and well wishes, I very much appreciate it, you guys. Okay, so we have elk, rabbit. For some, you could be dealing with the earth sign or earth sign energy. You have double earth sign energy. For some, I feel you could be dealing with two or two plus earth signs, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo energies. If you are, they can have Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, and their Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North Node, Midhaven, or Jupiter charts. If you are, Sag. We have the dark strategy. Number 21 can be a very significant number in one's life. Number 21, it could be a possible age of you or somebody you're connected to or any other significant number in one's life. Number 21. Bird perch, waiting for news, package letter, hand in need of help, assistance, and guidance. <coughs> Excuse me. Bowl, plenty of material things. Nope. A TV show that's about to premiere soon. Stolen ideas on a family in the past is about to tank into the ground. A Sagittarius really needs to hear this. Okay, I heard, and I got that one in Leo's reading too. So, um, a TV show that's about to premiere soon. It hasn't premiered yet, but it's about to. Um, I heard it's about to tank into the ground. So, it's not going, I, I'm assuming the ratings are going to do terribly. It's not going to do well, it sounds like. Um, I heard it was basically, um, based off a of family in the past, um, and it's not going to do well. Uh, tank in a horrible way. It shouldn't have been done. Was not done the right way. And a Sagittarius knows this. Tank in a horrible way, and, um, it's not going to do well. It wasn't done the right way. Um, uh, a Sagittarius intuitively knows this, knows this, so... One of you guys, one of you side just knows this um, TV show is about to premiere, I'm presuming. Or maybe you helped create this TV show. But it doesn't sound like consent or authorization was given from the proper family or held, or held or had a household of the family from the idea is what it sounds like. I heard it wasn't done the proper way. So I think somebody stole an idea or stole ideas of the family or the family dynamic idea or ideas. And try to recreate it in Hollywood. And it's about to premiere. And I heard it's about to tank. I'm presuming in Hollywood. It could be anywhere else. It could be Bollywood for all we know. But it's somewhere big time. Where I think one of you guys might have produced it. Or directed it. Or knows about this. Or is about to find out about it. I heard one of you guys knows it wasn't done the right way. So one of you guys already knows about this. There's a reason I'm picking this message up. And I got a similar message in Leo's. So you could be dealing with the Leo, possibly. You plug it in how it resonates, Sage. But I heard it is about to tank in a huge way. Going to ever regret it. Ever regret it. And it's going to uh, cause many negative series of chain of events for the people that did this. Okay, I heard ever somebody's going to ever regret it. So it could be a Sag that's going to re regret this, doing this, or someone connected to a Sag doing this TV show with this, it sounds like stolen idea or ideas on family, on a family situation. Um, sounds like somebody try to recreate something off a of stolen idea or ideas. And it's about to backfire on them in the form of not any money making going on there. Or is about to not be any money making. Um, I heard it's going to take it a huge horrible way. So, it's not going to do well. But there's a reason it's not going to do well. Um, I think somebody used dark arts on this family in the past. Or they used dark arts to conceal the information. Or their dark 
they're dark, the people that created it. How that resonates. We have the dark, bless you, um, dark arts here. The dark art wielders, dark arts people. I mean, if they didn't even consult the head of household or head of households of the family to get consent or authorization so they could get royalty or royalties from it, that's terrible. That's um, that's behind the scenes. Dark arts, lies, deception, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And, there's a, and it's about to backfire on them in the form of no money about to be made off this shit. They're about to lose so much money off this show. So much money. They're about to lose so much money off this show so much is what I heard. So they're about to actually lose. Lose a lot more than that what they spent. Lose a lot more than what they spent. So they're about to actually going to end up in the hole on this. They're going to lose more money than what they spent on this show. And it sounds like a lot more of it. So... However you're connected to this side, you could be a producer of this or a director of this, or you know somebody that has produced or directed this or is about to produce or direct it. Um, however that resonates, I'm feeling Hollywood energy or Bollywood energy or some kind of big time people, big wig energy. However that resonates, side shares. That's pretty crazy. Oh. Another Sagittarius is getting a huge wake-up call. Another Sagittarius is getting a huge wake-up call. So another one of you guys is getting a huge wake-up call, maybe about the show that's about to, heard it's about to premiere. Um, I think it's about to go very, very public, whether it's from Hollywood or Bollywood or what have you, what have you. It's, it's about to go very, like, all across the airwaves. I don't know if it's cable or general um, TV. Nope. A Taurus boss, for some, for some, a former Taurus boss is about to become very significant in your life. Okay, so for some of you guys, it sounds like your current Taurus boss, and for some, your for former Taurus boss is about to become very significant in your life, Sag. Um, I think this is your Taurus boss. I mean, um, they've got the elk antlers, the leadership antlers. Um, I think they were your boss. For some, they were your boss. For some, they are your boss. So for some, they currently are your boss. For some, they're your former boss. But they've got the elk antlers on, baby. They are the boss. And they know they are. It's a Taurus energy, masculine and Taurus. They can have Taurus in their sun, moon, rising, Venus, north, no, men, hammer, Jupiter, Taurus. But they're about to become very significant in your life. I feel that can go in a positive manner or negative manner. You plug it in how it resonates. For the one skilled nursing facility, they're, they're your former boss. They are about to report you. For one, they're about to report somebody else. You don't want them reported to the board of nursing. Oh, my Lord. So you plug it in how it resonates. So for the, those of you where it's your former tourist boss, so not your current tourist, tourist boss, your former tourist boss. You, uh, for some, you work in a skilled nursing, you did work, you did work in a skilled nursing facility. For some, the tourist boss is about to report you to the Board of Nursing, I heard. For some, they're about to report someone you don't want reported to the Board of Nursing. Holy crap, uh, uh, Sag, what the crap is going on? You used to work in this skilled nursing facility. If this resonates for you, you do not anymore. And the tourist was your boss. I think administrator energy or D-O-N or A-D-O-N. Because I used to work at a skilled nursing. Trust me, I know the chain of command. So it's either an administrator, an A-D-O-N or D-O-N. Or it could be cor corporate. It could be corporate as well. But, because you know, they report to the corporate entities. So how that resonates there, uh, Sags? 
you do not work there anymore, one, you're about to get reported to the, to the Board of Nursing for a negative reason. So I don't know if it's drug use or excessive alcoholism or a med error or what have you, what have you. But there's a reason you're about to get reported. I think the tourist boss is about to do it. Your former tourist boss is about to do it. Uh, some it's you. Some it's someone you don't want reported. So it's a frenzy of yours in this skilled nursing facility you don't want reported. If that resonates for you, Sagittarius. Holy crap. For some, it's a Pisces. For some, it's a Pisces. So for some, it's you, Sag. For some, it's a Pisces. So you could have Pisces or Sag in your Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Ortho, Mid, Hammer, Jupiter, Charts. I feel your frenzy is the Pisces, um, if that resonates. But for one, it's your current Taurus boss. Let me see if I hear anything on that. Holy crap. For one, your current Taurus boss is about to give you pretty privilege. Okay, for one, your current Taurus boss is about to give you pretty privilege is what I heard. So for one of you guys, you have a current uh, Taurus boss. Now, I didn't hear what aspect you work in, in whatever aspect you work in, Taurus. I am not Taurus, I'm Sag. It could be any, bless you, it can be any avenue. This is skilled nursing, but this could be any avenue. Any avenue, Sag. Your Taurus boss is about to give you pretty privilege. So pretty privilege means you're very attractive. You can be masculine or feminine. But you're very attractive and um, they're about to give you a leg up. I think a promotion or a raise or a different position that you maybe wanted or do want because you're attractive, basically. That's pretty privilege for anybody who doesn't know. Wow. I've never gotten pretty privilege, but... You know, I'm not down to people that get it. I don't believe in pretty, 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 pretty privilege, but I'm not this Taurus boss either. Rabbit? For one, you're a dancer. One, you work in a hospital. When you work in a skilled nursing facility, okay, so when you're a dancer, when you work in a hospital, when you work in a skilled nursing facility. So pretty privileged, whether you're a man or a woman and you're good looking, you're about to get pretty privileged. A bonus, a raise, a, a promotion, a better position that you've always wanted or did want or what have you, but it's because of your looks. This tourist finds you very attractive. I think they want to give you a better position or a raise or a promotion or a bonus, so maybe you'll sleep with them. This is exactly what I think, um, Saj. Um, for some, you work in a skilled nursing facility. Some, you work in a hospital. Some, you work, you're a dancer. So you'd be backup dancer or a, um, maybe you do uh, classes or what have you, what have you. You plug it in, how it resonates. Grab it. A teenage pregnancy is about to become very significant in Sagittarius's life. For one, you're very, very, very famous, and it's your teenage child that has impregnated somebody. Okay, I heard a teenage pregnancy is about to become very significant in Sage's life. For one, you are very, very, very famous, and it's your teenager that has impregnated somebody. So if this resonates for you, Sagittarius, you're very famous. So like celebrity fame status, like big wig celebrity status, whoever you are. But it's your teenager that has impregnated somebody. So I think your masculine teenager, your masculine teenage child has impregnated somebody. 
So um, I think you're about to find this out, or he's about to find this out, or you're both about to find this out. So teenage pregnancy energy, but your masculine son, teenage son, you're about to learn, or he's about to learn he's impregnated this femme energy, or you're about to learn he's impregnated this femme energy, or you both are. Baby energy, um, sexual energy, rabbits are, you know, um, doing it like rabbits, ain't no fun when the rabbit has a gun, very sexual energy. Um, teenage pregnancy, little bun in the oven energy. But you are an um, older Sag, masculine or femme, celebrity status Sag. And you're about to find out your teenage child, masculine teenage child, has impregnated somebody. You plug it in how it resonates. And a feminine Sagittarius is about to find out her brother is about to be under heavy, heavy, heavy investigation for a pedophile. Pedophile ring. It's about to embarrass the hell out of her. And her co-workers are about to find out. And it's about to... It's about to embarrass her so bad she's about to get a demotion over this. Oh my God, Sagittarius. Whoa. So if this resonates for you, you're a Sagittarius fam. And you're about to find out your brother is about to get investigated for a pedophile ring. Um... Um, I heard it's your co-workers, your co-worker side spam are about to find out he's about to be investigated for a ped pedo ring. And I heard through many series of chain events, it's going to cause you to get, get a demotion, a demotion. So you won't get fired. You'll just get demoted underneath, like whatever rank you are now or whatever uh, grade you are, or whatever job title you are or whatever, whatever, whatever you are, it'll go either one under or a couple under. I don't know. Only you know your story, not anybody else. But under what you are now, either one wrong or a couple wrongs. But it's because your brother is about to be investigated for a pedo ring. But somehow your coworkers are about to find this out. I don't think you're going to tell them. I think somebody else is going to tell them. It's definitely going to be somebody else. It is about to embarrass the hell out of you. It's definitely going to be somebody else, and it's going to embarrass the hell out of you. So it's going to be somebody else that's going to tell your coworkers, ma'am. And it's going to embarrass the hell out of you. So, um, in this aspect, um, too much thoughts of sexuality with children. Because uh, this is a sexuality card. Well, he shouldn't be dabbling in pedal rings. And that's just the truth. Um, and I'm sorry. I know it embarrasses you. But he has to be responsible for his own actions there, ma'am. Dark. A Sagittarius is about to find out a Leo masculine is messing around with a minor. For some, it's your husband. For some, it's your friend. Oh, that's so sick, man. What's up with all this pedo energy and minor energy? So, for some of you guys, um, you're about to find out, um, for some, it's your Leo masculine husband. So, legally married spouse. For some, it's your Leo masculine friend. Um, I heard you're about to find out they're messing around with a minor, so they're having sexual intercourse or sexual, I think they're having sex or sexual S-type situations with a minor, um, I think 17 or below. That's so disgusting. For some, it's your husband. For some, it's your friend. It's a Leo masculine. They could have Leo in their sun, moon, rising, Venus, ortho, man, hey, what your charts? Messing around with the little kitties. That's, that's disgusting. For one, you're going to shock the hell out of them with the divorce. For one, you're going to shock the hell out of them with the divorce. So for one, you're going to shock them with the divorce. One, you're not. I guess one, you're going to keep your mouth shut. You're just going to be the good wife. No, no, nay, nay. Um, nay, nay. I am not. Uh -uh. I'd rather live by myself. Um, 
I don't care how much income I have. Um, I don't care if I was rich, 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 or poor, 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 poor. At least I'd be happy living away from that crap. And that's just the truth. Um, that's gross. Um, for some, it's your Leo masculine husband, and some, it's your Leo masculine friend. They, they have dark thoughts of children, minors. Or minor, 17 or below. Dark thoughts of minors, so much so they're having some kind of sexual exploitation with them. Some of your own husband. This is gross. And a Sagittarius is about to provide... Evidence on dark arts use and a um, and a death of the past that a Libra was in for one for one a Pisces was in for one a Gemini was in accomplice energy oh man so cold case energy it sounds like if this resonates for you Sage some of you guys you know about um, some kind of accomplice energy of a Libra a Gemini or a Pisces regarding some kind of death of the past, i.e. the cold case, um, that you have some kind of evidence. I think it's chats or uh, it could be group text or chats or email or voice recording or something of that nature regarding these deaths. Um, it sounds like they have not been solved in the past, so they don't have any... Um, um, you know, like, they passed away, but there's not any cause of death, and there's not been any solving to the deaths, i.e. cold case energy. But some of you guys has evidence. You have evidence of that these Libra, uh, this Libra, Gemini, or Pisces was connected to the death or deaths. And you're uh, about to provide it now. Now, why you didn't provide it in the past, I don't know. I feel for some of you could have been um, blackmailed, is what I feel. Um, but you're about to provide it now. Um was definitely blackmailed, but the energy shifting was definitely blackmailed, but the energy shifting. So you did, okay, that's confirmation from the universe. So you definitely were blackmailed, but the energy is shifting. So you definitely were blackmailed to keep your mouth shut. I feel these people might be close to you or they were close to you, this Libra, Gemini, or Pisces. Um, but you're about to provide it. You can be masculine or femicide. It sounds like the blackmail has lifted or you're about to lift the blackmail. However, that resonates, Sag. So, they're heavy into dark arts. They're, I mean, so much so that they um, know about a death or was an accomplice to a death, and they have basically covered it up. That's sick. That is sick, 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 if I've ever heard it, and I'm being so serious about that. One of you is going to blow it wide open. Blow it open. One of you is going to blow it wide open. Blow it open is what I heard. One of you guys is going to blow this case wide open, wide open. Well, kudos to you, um, Sagittarius. You've got some hardcore evidence on this Libra, Pisces, or Gemini. Or one or two or two plus of these people. They could be masculine or femme, Libra, Pisces, or Gemini. They have Libra, Pisces, or Gemini, and their sun, moon, rising, Venus, or feminine, hammer, Jupiter, charts. But you've got some cold, hard evidence on them. I'm thinking group chat or messenger or um, Anna Scorpio. Anna Scorpio. So Libra, Pisces, Gemini, Scorpio. Libra, Pisces, Gemini, Scorpio. You've got some cold hard, I don't know if it's video camera evidence. It could be video camera evidence, group chat, messenger, um, text, voicemail, what have you, what have you. But you have got it and you're about to provide it. They're very dark, very dark individuals. Very, very I, mean, I feel mentally disturbed people, but they're trying, they have successfully covered it up. The bottom's about to fall out in a huge way, a huge way. This Sagittarius is not taking it anymore. The bottom is about to fall out in a huge way, a huge way. This Sagittarius is not taking it anymore. I think of that song, um, we're not gonna take it anymore yeah that's what i think of um that song if anybody knows that song i don't blame you i wouldn't be taking that crap either um nay 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 to the freaking nay that's disgusting um anybody that blacksmells anybody to cover up a murder or murders that's a terrible person 
And I don't care who they are, what weight, what race they are, what age they are, what ethnicity they are. That's that's cruel. That's cruel and unusual. I heard the bottom's about to fall open, and you're about to basically. I think you're about to break the black male from these dark or dark individuals. Is what I feel here, Sag. And I don't blame you, man. That's sick. Libra, Pisces, Gemini, Scorpio. Strat strategy. This stolen disability benefits is about to become very significant in Sagittarius's life and a Libra and a Virgo. Stolen disability benefits is about to become very significant in Sag's life and a Libra and a Virgo. So you got heavy Libra and energy already in here and then the Scorpio and the Gemini and the Pisces. Um, and then stolen disability benefits um, and a Libra and a Virgo. So for some, I feel you could have had this, the ben disability benefits, stolen be disability benefits stolen from you, or it could be somebody you're connected to had the stolen disability benefits um, stolen from you. Energies can be reversed, um, but somehow a Libra and a Virgo is connected to this. For some, I feel the Libra and the Virgo could have stolen disability benefits from you, or they had a hand in stealing them from someone you know, and maybe you're going to provide information. They had a strategy. To steal the stolen disability benefits, either from you or somebody you're connected to. For one, I feel you know information on it and you're about to provide, possibly. Uh, so there's a lot of breaking blackmail energy in here, but only you know your specific story and situation, not anybody outside, okay? You have Taurus energy in here too. I forgot Taurus energy too. Bird purge, waiting for news, package, and letter. A Sagittarius thinks she's getting a, a settlement. Sagittarius feminine thinks she's getting a settlement from a class action lawsuit in the past. But through many series of chain events, information will be provided that she was one of the main instigators in this. She will not get the settlement. Oh my God. So one of you guys thinks you're going to get a settlement from some kind of class action lawsuit. Um, you're a Sag fan, but I heard through many series of time events, somebody else is about to provide information that you were a main instigator in this. So you were, you caused this situation or situation or helped cause it. And I heard you won't get the settlement. So whatever the settlement is for the class action lawsuit, only you know what this is and not anybody else. You plug it in how it resonates, um, Sag, Sag fan. So waiting for news package and letter, you're waiting for this settlement. You're waiting for this money. You're waiting for this class. It's for relating to a class action lawsuit. So many people filing for one situation, basically, a uh, class action lawsuit. You can Google it if you're not familiar, but you're a side spam. And I heard basically you're not going to get it because somebody else is about to provide information that you were an instigator to it. So I think you help cause, create the situation or keep it going or something of that nature. So you're waiting on money, 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 money from this, but I heard it's not going to come. Whoever you are, you're a side fan. And one Sagittarius is waiting on test results. And one Sagittarius is waiting on test results. And one Sagittarius is waiting on information. And one Sagittarius is waiting on information. So one of you guys is waiting on test results. One, you're waiting on information. And one, you're a side fan and you think you're going to get basically a lot of money, money, money money from some kind of class action lawsuit but i heard through many series of chain events you won't because um you in, you help instigate it in some shape form or fashion hand in need of help assistance and guidance that could be this when you find out you don't get the money uh, i think you thought you were going to get the money you had a strategy to, to get the money side spam but um it sounds like it's not going to pan out in need of help, assistance, and guidance.
A Sagittarius feminine is about to find out she's pregnant again. Baby number four. For some. For some, baby number five. For some, baby number three. Holy moly, Sagittarius. So you plug it in how it resonates. Holy moly. So some of you guys are about to find out you're pregnant. Some baby number three, some baby number four, some baby number five. Oh, my goodness. So you plug it in how it resonates. I think you're going to need a strategy. Um, I don't know if you're planning on keeping this child or not. I'm not sure. Um, of course, you know, every state has different rules for um, weeks of gestation of when you can go get an abortion. Every single state. Some are heartbeat bill states. Some are not. Alabama is a heartbeat bill state. But some are not heartbeat bill states. So, I don't know what state you live in. I didn't hear that. But whoever, there's at least three of you pregnant in the universe, it sounds like right now. For some, I heard baby number three. So you're pregnant with baby number three. For some, baby pre pregnant with baby number four. For some, pregnant with baby number five. So in need of help, assistance, and guidance, I think um, this might be calling if you, I didn't hear you want to get an abortion, but you might, um, possibly. It, that's personal preference, so I don't know if you do or don't. But if you don't, you're, I'm assuming you're going to need help with child care, with, uh, you know, maybe this is finding a doctor for prenatal care, um, telling your husband or spouse or committed partner or baby daddy, however that resonates. Woo! Some pregnant with baby three, some pregnant with baby four, some pregnant with baby five. You plug it in how it resonates. I have two teenagers, and I definitely do not want any more. But everybody's situation is different. I'm not judging. Another Sagittarius is getting a huge wake-up call. Another Sagittarius is getting a huge wake-up call. I, I don't know what you're getting a huge wake-up call about. But, man, I'm telling you, I don't want no more kids. But I'm not judging people that do. Um, for some, I feel you might want these kids. For some, you maybe not. Uh, maybe not. Only you know your situation story, not anybody else. But... Whew. Bowl, plenty of material things. And a Sagitt older Sagittarius feminine, she's about to find out her, her daughter in her 20s is pregnant. And it's about to be twins. And an older Sagittarius feminine has a daughter in her 20s. I heard you, ma'am, you're about to find out your daughter is pregnant with twins. So you are an older Sag femme and you have a daughter in her 20s. And you're about to find out your daughter in her 20s is pregnant with twins. So you plug it in, how it resonates, Sagittarius. I think your daughter in her 20s is going to need help, assistance, and guidance when she finds out she's pregnant. For some, it could be her first pregnancy. For some, she could already have child or children. Um, if she already has child or children, I'm sure she already knows the rodeo. But if it's her first pregnancy and she finds out she's pregnant with twins, she'll probably be like, whoa! Just saying, just saying, probably. I mean, I don't know. I'm not this person, but I'm just saying. An older Sagittarius feminine is about to get charged with child abuse soon. It's about to shock the hell out of her. And an older Sagittarius feminine is about to find out she's about uh, she's about to get charged with child abuse. It's about to shock the hell out of her. Whoa! So I don't know what the crap you've done. Uh, you're 35 or 36 or above, ma'am. Um, you have child abuse, child or children. I don't know if they're your um biological child, foster children, or children you know, but somehow through many series of chain events, you're about to get charged with child abuse. Um, for some, it's a daycare situation. For some, it's a entrapment situation of the past. For some, it's a daycare situation. For some, it's an entrapment situation of the past. So for, it's at least two of you guys. Your older Sagittarius fem, fems, you can have Sag any aspects of your charts. For one of you guys, it's a daycare situation, so somebody's about to press charges because um, the parent or parents is about to press charges on child abuse. I think you might be a daycare worker or an administrator or uh, or something of that nature. You work in the daycare um, for situation one. For situation two, it was some kind of entrapment situation of the past, so I think you entrap child or children um, in the past, and you're about to get charged.
So you plug it in how it resonates. The dark was in need of help, assistance, and guidance. That's the child abuse energy. Dark forces, dark intentions. Um, child abuse is dark. It's dark and it's negative and it's and anybody that entraps child or children in any situation ever is they deserve child abuse charge and that's just the truth. Um, I'm not being judgy. I'm just telling you the facts and that's just the truth. You're an older side fam, or maybe for some you know this older side fam. For some, I feel it's it's obviously not you. It's somebody you know or connected to. Uh, for one, they work in a daycare. For one, they entrap child or children in a very dangerous situation in the past. Bold, plenty of material things. A selling of a home is about to become very significant in Sagittarius's life. A selling of a home is about to become very significant in Sagittarius' life. So some kind of selling of a home. So plenty of material things. I think you're going to have plenty of money when you sell this home. Um, I think it's probably an expensive home or a fairly expensive home. And um, you're about to gain um, wealth off of the selling of the home, Sagittarius. Um, that, congratulations. Um, I don't know if it's fast cash selling or you're renovating it and then you're um, selling it. How that resonates. But I think it's going to bring you a lot of either fast cash or not fast cash, a lot of wealth. And a Sagittarius's child is about to get um, 18, some 18, some 17, some 16, some 19, is about to get a scholarship soon. Very nice scholarship. One, it will be an Ivy League school. So some of you guys, you're, um, some of you have a 16, 17, 18, 19 year old child. For some, one of you guys, uh, one of you guys' child is about to get a scholarship to an Ivy League school, whether they're 16, 17, 18, 19. How that resonates, Sag. Um, but if they're not getting a scholarship to an Ivy League school, they're going to get a scholarship somewhere. Uh, but one of these situations is to an Ivy League school. So plenty of material things. I think they're going to, um, this is your child in this aspect, whether they're 16, 17, 18, 19. I think they're going to have um, the financial backing they need through this scholarship to be able to afford things they need like um, school supplies and um, housing and food and what have you. I mean, they will, I think they'll be taken care of through this scholarship. Sounds like it's a nice scholarship. It doesn't sound like it's like, breadcrumbing you know like a little half of the scholarship or just a certain amount of money or what have you what have you it sounds like it's full ride is what it sounds like and it's really sounds wonderful i think they're going to have a strategy when they um got garner this scholarship at least hopefully um at least hopefully they do they do a trip to the mountains is about to become very significant in sagittarius's life and a trip to the water park. A trip to the mountain and a trip to the water park is about to become very significant in Sage's life. So congratulations. Um, I'm stuck in the middle of a custody battle right now. Uh, but somebody's about to go to um, the mountains and a park, a water park. So congrats. Uh, hopefully I can do that after all this crap. Just saying, just saying. All right. I love you guys so much. Everybody have a wonderful day. I hope this helped. Namaste.